And again, Hunter trying to go over the top. And Mankind with two handfuls of his belt is not about to allow Hunter to go over. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to a brand spanking new episode of the U.S. Dojo. This is yours truly, the GM Factor Joe Samantos, and the hell is Chris Sabin doing out here? I mean, he, it's bad enough that he lost it against Smash and lost all credibility as a wrestler, but the hell is he on now? There's nothing he can do that can redeem himself from losing to Smash. If you lose to Smash, you lose all credibility as a wrestler. Let's see what he's got to say. Oh, are you kidding me, dude? You really want to call out Smash? I mean, it's bad enough Smash B did what he did to you yesterday, last time. It was a really thorough ass woman. He caught you with the fat splash, man. There's no recovery from that. He caught you with the fat splash. But anyway, this idiot smashes in the ring, stealing the Undertaker's motorcycle, and somehow falling out of the motorcycle, rolling to the mat, to the apron. How he fails at riding a motorcycle, I don't know. Whose motorcycle he actually stole that from? I bet that was, no, that was Undertaker's motorcycle, guys. I think he stole Chuck Palumbo's motorcycle this time, and he face flops. <laughs> I bet he's, oh, wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute! He's got him over the shoulder! Cradle shock! Okay, are you serious, dude? You called him out just to say that you hate him? You could've just said that in the back? Yeah, I guess he hates him. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. You have got to be freaking kidding me. You mean to tell me that Ricardo Rodriguez, Suicido, Blade, and Michael Hyman have teamed up to form the Terror Train and they want to kill Puro Wrestling? Are you freaking kidding me? I know that I have Boosie 2 beats the fuck out of both of you. But anyway, coming to the ring right now is Uno Sin Talent. I can never get this dude's name right because I can never speak Spanish. So I'm just gonna call him Talent this morning, just for simplicity's sake and for my mind. Uno sin talente. I, I'm now I'm sticking with the talent this one. For plain and simple fact, it's easier for me to say because he has no talent. And you know, he's basically chopped like that once but twice. Or who else is gonna I wonder, who's lump, who, who, I wonder who else is going to give him some lumps. No, oh, here comes his opponent. And here comes this asshole, Suicido, along with that scumbag, that snake, the personal ring announcer, and leader of the terror train, Ricardo Rodriguez. And Ricardo Rodriguez actually leading something? Are you serious? Then again, I've seen weirder things. But Suicido, you know, he's also in Call Champions League, so make sure you check him out. Cheap plug. 
But seriously, I can't. What, 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 why does Ricardo Rodriguez hate the people wrestling for? He doesn't even American wrestle. He does a little bit of lucha and he big announces. I guess he doesn't like the fact that Lucha Libre is. They feel that people feel the smarts feel that like Lucha Libre is overrated and that pure wrestling is awesome. Well, pure wrestling is awesome. I mean, think about it. Think about all the good names that can't originate from pure wrestling. As soon as he was delivering this, he nearly decapitated him with that clothesline in the back of the head. But, you know, but think of all the American wrestlers who, you know, glorified and got more respect out of pure wrestling. I mean, Vader, Giant Bernard, who's now one of the best big men uh, to up to date now. You know, Johnny Ace, Stan Hansen, Bruiser Brody. I mean, there are, those are a couple of uh, Terry Bambio Gordy and Dr. Death Steve Williams. Those are a few I can name off the top of my head. They became successful with, by, you know, more successful in pure wrestling, refining their craft. And meanwhile, Suicido is tearing the part out of the talentless one. And Suicido dropping a giant elbow. I don't think a big man like that can do an elbow. But then again, Mike Awesome can do a giant splash off the office off the uh, a diving attack. So that's saying something. The talentless one would go behind, but he gets reversed instantly, like usual, and a giant headbutt. And now he's just stepping on him like he's garbage, king garbage of the garbage dynasty. And Ricardo Rodriguez playing cheerleader in the back, and outside the ring. Look at him celebrating like an asshole. And Suicido with that giant full nose and slam. I mean, Suicido's huge, man. Caught him, he doesn't give him credit. The man is huge. He's to see humanity. And, you know, Uno Sin Talente, aka the Talos one to me, is getting his ass beat in the worst possible way. Oh, God. Big Boot literally tore him inside out. And now, what he's got him here is setting him up. Right in for the Verta Breaker. And he caught him with it. He caught him with it big time. And Ricardo Rodriguez, he's celebrating at the damage that Suicido's doing right now. Another big boot. You might as well just pin this guy. This is nothing but torture. He's torturing the guy. He's torturing the talentless one. In the worst possible way. And now he's setting up for a ride. Oh, the black hole slam. We're going to go, you know, or you were boss being slam, depending on, you know, what league you're more of a fan of. Oh, he's signaling for the end here, guys. Oh, green mist in the face. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, the surprise abortion. He gave him an abortion, even though he's not pregnant. How does that make sense? And it's over. The surprise abortion. He gave to, um, the talents one an abortion. An abortion out of this sport. Because he's not pregnant and he's not a woman. So this is kind of weird. Let's look at the replays here. Look at this double arm choke slam. And to make matters even worse than they already were, the green mist, that punch to the gut and that kick to the face, that surprise abortion, and that's what gave, gave Suicido the, the win here. The one, two, three. That was a thorough ass kicking. And look at Ricardo Rodriguez grabbing Suicido, raising his arm in the air as if he won the lottery. They, these guys are serious. They want to destroy pure wrestling, despite the fact the talentless one is not a pure wrestler. How odd is that? Someone's got to stop these guys, man. 